restoration, complete restoration by Pastor John Engels. And may God bless you as you come in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me have her time as well. My lovely wife, stand up, Georgette. We've been married 49 years. Happily married 49 years, praise God. The Lord has done a tremendous work in our lives, and we just rejoice that we can be with you today in order to bring you this word, complete restoration. Wow. Tremendous topic. We're talking about the resurrection of Christ. Amen. We're talking about the most powerful experience you can ever have in your life. Something that brings you back to where you need to be. Something that brings the life of God back into you, the way it should be. Amen? And I know you've been having a good time yesterday, and I know that today will be no different. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, you know, the resurrection power of Christ has brought complete restoration, not only to our lives, but also to our callings. And this is one of the things I want to talk to you about in the next 20 minutes. I want to talk about the talents. I want to talk about the callings. I want to talk about the purposes of God in your life. And I want to talk about the fact that the resurrection of Christ has reawakened those callings in you. I want to talk about the fact that those things have begun to take a momentum in your life from the moment that you receive Jesus in order to catapult you forward and bring you back to the place where God wants you to be. Because you have a powerful something on the inside of you and it's called the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Spirit is there today to begin to help develop those gifts and talents in your life, to begin to bring them up out of the innermost being, and to begin to propel them forward where they're going to have an effect on the society where you are placed right now. We are changers, world changers, hallelujah. We are people that have been called of God to bring about a change in society. And there's something on the inside, each and every one of you, that is going to make that possible. And I want you to know today that those things need to be activated. Hallelujah. They need to be awakened. Those calls need to be awakened in you. They need to come alive. God has given us powerful gifts and callings to reach every nation with his word. Today it's Holland, it's the Netherlands. Tomorrow maybe one of the other European countries. Many of you come from different countries in the European Union. Wherever God has you, he's placed you there for a reason. He's got a tremendous calling on your life. Something has to be released through you to others in order to activate their callings as well. Because only as we multiply what God has given us are we going to be able to reach these nations for Christ. Amen? Hallelujah. Give the Lord a clap offering. I've learned a long time ago everyone needs That's the way we're going to reach Europe. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. So don't be a side bencher. Be someone who jumps in the game and plays along. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. The body working together. Every member supplying what they have need of. You know, I've discovered over the years that the enemy is really good at lying to people. And one of the biggest lies he tells them is that they're good for nothing. That they don't possess any gifts. They don't have any talents. They can't make any difference in their neighborhoods or wherever God has placed them. And a lot of times he tells them this in order to make sure that they don't get too excited about their newfound faith. He wants you to just take it easy. He wants you to just sit down, do nothing, just smile, clap your hands, look happy. But don't bring about any change in society. That's the enemy. Full of lies, full of lies, full of lies. Let me tell you, sometimes he convinces us that we have nothing to contribute Nothing we can add to what needs to be done. And there's even times when he tells us that God has no gifts for us. 
God doesn't have any gifts for you. You weren't meant to do anything. You were meant to be a spectator. That's what he'll tell you. But did you know that God has no spectators? Only participators. Only those that are playing in the game. Hallelujah. But the enemy will often tell you that you have nothing to give and that God has not given you any gifts. And the ones he gave you, he probably pulled back. Well, that's not true at all. The word of God is very clear. As we read in Romans chapter 11, verse 29, that the gifts and callings of God are without repentance. They are irrevocable. Hallelujah. Whatever God has placed on the inside of you is irrevocable. The enemy can't get to it. It can't be pulled back. God's not going to pull it back. He just wants to see it activated. And that's what we're going to do this afternoon. We're going to activate those gifts and callings in your life. If there's anything I'm going to leave behind in this meeting today, then I see anointing for you and I to do what God has called us to do. And to stand up in this country, in the countries where God has you, to fulfill the purpose where he's called you for. And I prophesy to you today that changes will begin to take place in your life. Changes that God has ordained for them to take place in this moment for a season and time as this. And you will begin to stand up in the power of the Spirit like never before. And I hear the Lord saying that he will draw those things out of you that he's placed on the inside. Those things that the enemy said you no longer have. But we know that that's a lie. Because God has blessed you with gifts and callings. And he wants to call those out today. And some of you are going to leave this place today knowing that you have a greater purpose than what you thought you did. Amen. Hallelujah. Wow. Wow. You know, God is calling us to stand up and take our place. He wants us to take our place. He wants, to make, he wants to, us to make an impact on the nations. An impact. We, don't, we should not be timid. We should be bold. We should be bold in our pursuit of what God has for us. We should be bold. Boldness is what we need. In Nederland zeggen wij vrijmoedigheid. We know that we need boldness. Amen? We need boldness. We need to be, we need to be people that cannot be stopped. We don't need to get just, you know, if, if you play soccer, sometimes you get kicked in your shins. And that hurts. I don't know if you've ever played soccer. I know a lot of you have. As a child, you know when you get kicked in your shins? And you, you begin to, you know, stumble a little bit. It, it hurts. Well, I remember going to my coach and saying, oh, that really hurts. You know what he said to me? Okay, well, move it a little bit. So I moved it. He said, now get back in the game. I said, what? He said, get back in the game. And that's exactly what God's saying to us today. Regardless of what we've suffered, regardless of what we've gone through, God is a healing God, and he will restore every bit of what he's placed on the inside of you. And he'll put you back in the game again. He'll put you back where you belong in that position where you need to play right now. Hallelujah. And some of those positions are pretty important. Whether it's offense or defense, it doesn't matter. We need them both. And the Lord is working right now to restore some of those things in the hearts and lives of those that have suffered traumas. In the hearts and lives of those that have suffered situations where you've had a setback in your life. Where you didn't see things the way they should be anymore. You began to realize something's not right here and you drew back. And I believe God's calling to those that have, that have drawn back and he's saying, get back in the game. He's saying, I can heal you, I can touch you. Let me restore what needs to be restored. Let me give you what you need right now for you to be able to play again. It's time to give the devil a black eye. It's a time to stand up like Jesus stood up out of the grave. Just like he was resurrected by the power of the Father. So we were resurrected with him today. He suffered so much for us and yet he stood up. Hallelujah. Because the Father willed it. He wills today that you stand up as well. That whatever you've gone through, whatever situation you've lived through, whatever terrible situation it's been, God says I've got the power to resurrect you today. I've got the power to make you stand up once again so that you can be everything that I've intended you to be. This is your finest hour, people. People, come on, give the Lord praise today. Hallelujah. I believe that, that complete restoration is to see every man and woman of God begin to operate in the gifts and callings that God has equipped them with. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. You know, sometimes the enemy succeeds in sidetracking us. And maybe, you know, that's happened to you for a while, but I always say to people, get back on track again. Get back on the main track where things are happening. Hallelujah. God is on the move. Did you know that? 
You've got to keep moving with God. Sometimes people say to me, Pastor John, you've, you've lived through a lot of movements. I said, I sure have. Why does God have so many movements? I said, well, it's a simple answer. He wants us to keep moving. <laughs> he wants us to keep moving. He doesn't want us to stand still. He doesn't want us to sit down just for a minute on that bench to recover, you know, just to take a breath. No, he says, I'm here to heal you. I'm here to touch you, and I'm here to get you back in the game again. Hallelujah. Wow, what a day and age that we're living in today. God has so much for us people, so much that he wants to do today. Whoa. You know, we're living in crucial times. Crucial times. Let me tell you, we've, we've lost some ground that we need to make up again. We've lost some ground in the Netherlands that we're going to make up again. I, I see things happening, and, and, you know, I've lived here uh, when I was a young man. I was born here, and I know what was going on back in the, in the 60s, but today is a whole different scene. And the things I see today, I realize we've lost some ground, but we're gaining. We're gaining. There's things happening in the Netherlands right now, and I know for a fact that God is beginning to pour out His Spirit all over again. There's people being raised up in this hour that have tremendous anointings on their lives, whether it's Brother David here, whether it's Brother Tom DeWall, or other people that we know of right now, Brother Ben in Amsterdam. There's people that God is raising up and causing a whole new, hallelujah, a whole new element of power to be revealed to the Dutch people. And they're hungry. They're hungry. And they should be. And they should be. Hallelujah. Because God's doing a marvelous work. And then you people, all you lovely Nigerians, all you lovely people from the RCCG, God sent you to the Netherlands. He sent you to Europe. He sent you to the different cities. And you come with a heart that is full of love. And you say, Lord, use me. Lord, use the message that you've given us in this nation. And the Lord has planted you here. And you begin to grow. Hallelujah. And you begin to emanate this love from you towards the Dutch people, towards the French people, the Spanish people, the Belgian people, whoever it may be. And you have made a place in society where the word of God can continue to flow. And it's tremendous how God is using you today. Hey, hallelujah. Welcome to the Netherlands. Welcome to our nations. Hallelujah. We need you. We need you more than ever. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. But you know, sometimes people suffer traumas. Sometimes personal inflictions have robbed us of the ability to fulfill our calling. But you know, God has made a way for restoration. And Georgette, my wife Georgette, she has a, she has a course that she calls Beauty for Ashes. And Georgette has realized a long time ago, as the Lord spoke to her, that there are many Christians today not able to fulfill their calling, not able to use their talents and abilities because they've suffered traumas, because they've suffered situations that have caused them to draw back. And the Lord allowed her to see that, and she's developed this course. And through this course, people receive healing, inner healing. It restores them to the place where God desires them to be. And one of the most beautiful things that I have discovered is on the final night that she has this course, some of those individuals get to give their testimony. And they get to share what they've experienced, the pain they've experienced, but also the healing they've experienced. And then you know what I really like. Then Jujet wants me to prophesy over each and every one of them. And inevitably, I hear God restoring the callings, the talents, the abilities. I hear him calling that back again. What's been on the inside of them all along. Whatever the enemy has tried to stop, whatever he's tried to block, God is reawakening it in the inside of them. And they are standing up once again. And they are completing the run. Hallelujah. Because that's what we're called to do. We're not called to stay seated. We're called to keep going. Keep going. Hallelujah. Next month, I'll be 70. Some people said to me, Pastor John, does that mean you're retiring? No, heck no, I'm not retiring. I'm not retiring. There's too much to do. Too much to do. Way too much to do. Don't be here today and say, well, Pastor, I'm even older than you are, and I'm pulling back. Don't pull back. We need you. Hallelujah. The younger generation needs you. They need good examples. They need mature leaders in order to show them how to stand, how not to get kicked in the shins and immediately sit down and begin to cry, but how to stand up and say in the name of Jesus, I am healed, and get back into the battle again. We need people today that know that God has a greater purpose than what they think he has. Hallelujah. You know, every time Judith gives that course, I just, I just love the prophetic. Hallelujah. There are so many divine callings on the inside of us. You know, that God has given us. 
And the prophetic, you know, it can do so many beautiful things. It can confirm leaders in the church, but it can confirm callings as well. It can bring, it can bring a, you know, a, 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 an encouragement to the body of Christ that we so desperately need. You know, when God begins to speak, you begin to listen. And when your spirit begins to connect with God's spirit, something begins to happen. And there's a power being released. And I call it the download from heaven. And sometimes you're in services, whether it's the singers that are singing and worshiping, or whether it's a preacher that's preaching, and that anointing begins to come down. And then you have to grab a hold of it because that anointing is meant for you. And it's not meant to stay in this building, but it's meant for you to be picked up and to take with you so that that anointing can begin to change your life and the life of each and every person person you come in contact with. People, we need this anointing today. We need this encouragement today. You are here to be built up and then to be sent forth to do what God has called you to do. And that's exactly what we're going to do this afternoon. Hallelujah. In the last few years, I've seen so many things happen. I've seen how the Lord has used the prophetic to bless individuals, but also to challenged them in the ministry in the last few years in the Netherlands. I've, I've been able to prophesy over a number of people that have started their own churches, that have started their own ministries, simply because God confirmed what he already had planted in their heart. And that's what we need today. We need, you know, sometimes you need something to kind of get you back in the game again, you know. Sometimes it's the coach. Sometimes it's the coach, the Holy Spirit, on the inside of you, just talking to you, saying, you can do it. You can do it. But Lord, I'm afraid I'm with you. I said I would never leave you nor forsake you. But Lord, I don't know if I have the strength. I am your power. I will give you the power. And the Holy Spirit is coaching you. And what's he coaching you to do? He's coaching you to get back on track again. To get back in the game again. To get back to that spot where you need to be. Don't backtrack, but go ahead and begin to walk in that what God has given you to do today. People, we're not in a losing game. We're in a winning game. Hallelujah. Jesus already won the battle a long time ago. Woo! We're on the winning team. Let's not forget that today. <laughs> We're on the winning team. Hallelujah. I had, years ago, the Lord gave me a dream that really shocked me. And he, in this dream, I saw mantles laying on the ground. And they were, they were just strewn all over the ground. And I, I noticed that people were walking over top of them as if they didn't even see them. And they were getting dirty and... And I thought, this is, this is really awful. Look at these beautiful mantles. And I asked the Lord what was going on. And you know what he said? He said, these are the mantles of my servants. He says, the ones that have gone to be with me. And he says, no one has picked up their mantle to continue their cause and continue their calling. He says, not that there aren't people that can do that. He says, but I have not found the people that will pick these mantles up. And instead, they were being ignored. And they were laying on the ground. And I said, Lord, that's got to change. That's got to change because I know that we are capable of doing more than what we think we can. Why? Because the greater one is alive in us. Because the greater one is alive in us. Because he's the one that quickens us. Because he's given us his spirit today. He's given us the power and the ability. He's given us his gifts. He's given us everything we need to accomplish what needs to be accomplished. Hallelujah. So yes, we can pick up those mantles. We can pick them up and we can wear them and we can say, Lord, thank you for the anointing of that individual. And let me continue with this anointing in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'll read you out of 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 13 and 14. 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 13 and 14, the story of Elisha and Elijah. To anoint Elisha as his follower. And Elisha saw it, and he said, if you see me go, you'll have a double anointing. And Elisha then picked up Elijah's cloak that had fallen from him. He went back, and he stood on the bank of the Jordan. And he took the cloak that had fallen from Elijah, and it's the Lord God of Elijah. And when he struck the water, it divided to the right and to the left, and he crossed over. Hallelujah. He took something. That he wanted to have. He wasn't afraid of the mantle. He wanted the mantle. He wanted more than that. He wanted double the anointing as well. And it was, it was a big thing to ask. But you know what? He wanted to do more. He saw what Elijah did. And he says, Lord, I want, to do, I want to do much more than that. You know, Jesus said we would do more than he ever did. You know, Jesus said we would do his works and greater works than these we would do. And I don't know sometimes what that might be because Jesus did just about everything. But I do know if we even come close to what Jesus did, we're doing pretty good. 
You know, sometimes we feel challenged when we hear those things. Sometimes we think we're not capable of doing those things. You know, we're the kind of people, when you come to church, you know, we prefer to sit in the back than in the front. But I think God's looking for people to move up. I think God's looking for people that are willing to come to the front row as close as they can to the altar. People that are willing to come as close to God as they can get. People who can feel the heartbeat of God. People who can understand what God wants to do in their lives and who knows that he can empower them to do things that they didn't think were possible. Because we're living in a time, people, where we're going to have to demonstrate what we preach. We're living in a time where we're going to have to show the people that we serve a God who can do great and great and mighty things. Hallelujah. He told us to begin to proclaim the mighty deeds. That's the generation that he's chosen. Hallelujah. A generation of royal priesthoods and kings. Wow. We stand here today and we say, where's the God of Elijah? He's here. He's here. Complete restoration is to see the fulfillment of the giftings and callings that God has placed in us. And I think it's time to demonstrate to the world that we have those gifts residing in us. I think it's time that we began to proclaim God's mighty deeds. And you know what I see sometimes? I see us standing where Joshua stood. Where Joshua stood. You know, kind of ready to take possession of the territory we were destined for. Ready to take the territory of your neighborhood. Ready to take the territory of the country where God has placed you. The country he's let you into. Ready to go in and enter in. Not to hold back, but to get right in there. And then to hear the words of the Lord. Be strong. Be courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Hallelujah. And this is what God is saying to you today. Be courageous. Be ready to go. Or wherever you go, God will be with you. His power and His resurrection power will give you all that you need to accomplish what needs to be accomplished. And maybe you're here today and you're saying, Well, Pastor John, I'm not called to be a preacher. I'm not called to be an evangelist. I'm not called to be any of those things. Well, that's not what this is about. This is about just doing what God has called you to do. But there's something on the inside of you that needs to be ignited and that needs to right now be awakened because it's gone to sleep. And I want you to know something this afternoon. This is going to happen right now. This is, this is what I want you to do. Listen to me very carefully. I want you to stand up with me. Stand up with me. I saw this in the Spirit. Stand up with me right now. Quickly, stand up with me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All right. This is, no, just hang on. This is what I want you to do. I want you to come out of your seat as quickly as possible. I don't want this to take all afternoon. And I want you to come by here in front of the stage just as quickly as you can. And I'm just going to release that anointing in the name of Jesus. And I believe by the time we are finished today, we are going to have people standing in positions and in places where they were afraid to stand before. But it's a place where God has called you to. Do this quickly. Don't wait in the name of Jesus. And Lena, can I... Jongens, can I even spelen in the achtergrond? Is that possible? Can iemand at the piano misschien niet spelen, ja? Als het gaat. Oké. Okay. In the name of Jesus. Shall we do that? We're, we're just going to get them to play a little bit. Amen. Amen. Give the Lord a hand. Praise God. Go. Go. Walk by. Go. Go. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Be anointed. Be anointed. Come on now. In the name of Jesus. There's a call. Sir, there's a calling on your life. You need to listen and you need to obey. But at this time, God says, I'm going to take you out of a situation and place you in the middle of a tremendous, a tremendous, uh, how can I say, an overwinning, a tremendous victory that you didn't think you could possibly have. Now, release that right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be anointed. Be anointed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to the Spirit today. Listen to what God's saying today. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You are called. You are called. You are called. Sir, you have a higher calling on you than what you think. This is a time, says God, but he's going to pull you out and reposition you. And you will be able to do more and mighty exploits that God has given you to do. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. In the name of Jesus. More. More. I hear God say more. In the name of Jesus. There is much more. Much more. Much more. Much more. Much more. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 In the name of Jesus. Listen to the Spirit. This may be just a symbol, but listen to the Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Ma'am. Ma'am. 
Man, the Lord's opening doors for you. There are some things happening right now that sometimes they brought tears to your eyes, but it'll be tears of joy coming real soon. I see breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise you, Father. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, 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 yes. I hear the Lord saying, ma'am, I hear the Lord saying, you're it. He's saying it's, it's not someone else here, but you need to grab the bull by the horns. You need to activate what God has called you to do. This is the time. It's a season in life, and those doors are open right now. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Look at these warriors. Look at all these people. Hallelujah. You're going to be changed in the name of Jesus. Keep walking. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Ma'am, I hear the Lord saying, hallelujah. He says there are many things that you've given away. You've sown much, but you're going to reap much as well. And I hear the Lord say this is going to be a year of reaping like never before. Even in areas where you've not sowed, you will reap. And the Lord is about to establish something that you're going to be heading up. I feel like you're going to be an instigator of something that's really going to explode. And I just release that right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, awaken those gifts. Awaken those callings in the name of Jesus. Come back on track. Get off the bench. Get back in the game in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. This morning, you know what you think. And sometimes you feel a little bit inadequate, but the Lord has given you so much power. If you learn to, learn to tap into it, things will begin to change for you and I see your situation already beginning to change there are some things right now that God's working on and I really feel that you're gonna discover something that you've never seen before God will open your eyes and you'll discover something brand new hallelujah thank you Lord thank you Jesus hallelujah thank you father thank you father let your anointing flow let your anointing flow in the name of Jesus hallelujah you're equipped you're fully equipped in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let nothing hold back what God has desired to do in your life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for your healing power, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Heal. Anoints. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. You are good. You are good. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Brother, just a minute. Just a minute. I just noticed something about you. I, I, I see how the Lord's bringing you to the forefront. It's almost like you've been holding back, but He wants you to get closer closer I hear him say and I think this is gonna open up a whole new uh, area of ministry for you even you've been very faithful in the small things but I see bigger things coming and promotions on the way in the name of Jesus hallelujah thank you Lord thank you father thank you for that anointing Jesus thank you Lord hallelujah thank you father anoint 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 hallelujah thank you Lord thank you Jesus thank you Jesus Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, we rejoice today. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. We're ready. We're answering the call. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, wherever you would have us be. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the equipping. Thank you, Lord, for the anointing. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You know what? You know what I just heard the Lord say? I heard him say that there's an aspect of your life that you're going to get to know that you've been kind of shunning a little bit. 
almost like you said, well, I'm not so sure if I really trust myself in that area. But, but I saw you making a step of faith, which is going to make the difference this year. And I think you're going to enter into a wonderful time. Just release that right now. Father, thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes. I think we're almost done. I think we're almost done. I think we're almost done. Thank you, Lord. I'm in. Quickly, quickly. Come quickly, quickly, quickly. We're running out of time. Hallelujah. We don't want time to kill us here today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come quickly. Whoa, come quickly. Come quickly. Come quickly. Yes, 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 yes. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, yes. Thank you for that anointing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Okay, quickly, a little bit quicker. Thank you, Lord. Otherwise, we're going to run out of time. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for that anointing, Father. Release that anointing in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. I hear the Lord saying, be bold. Be bold, be bold in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. All right. That's the last one. I have to be obedient. Sorry. I have to be obedient. We don't have much time today. I've been asked to stop. The rest of you just stay standing. Father, in the name of Jesus. The rest of you that weren't able to come up, in the name of Jesus. Father, we just thank you for your anointing. We thank you, Lord, that you've placed within each and every one of these people the desire to serve you. Father, I thank you that you will continue to bring that to the surface. That, Father, it can have, uh, Father, its way. That it can do what it's supposed to do. I release that anointing on you right now. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Give the Lord a clap offering today. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you.